they were at Wendon Church, which is just on the outskirts of uh, Bridgewater, Somerset. Let's go in and take a look if we can. It looks quite a nice church from the outside. It's a bit windy today, but otherwise it's not too bad. There's like some really interesting uh, stones, gravestones here. We'll have a look at those later. Um, let's go in and have a look inside the church if we can. Seems like the church is locked, so we won't be able to go in there, but let's have a look around the cemetery. We've got some old stocks here. For under, under, unwanted visitors. Probably people who's taking pictures and videos. We got a sacred to the memory of John Collip, who died eighteen fifty two, aged forty. Also, Anne, the wife of James Collier, who died, 1874, age 66. Then we've got the son of James and Anne Collier, who died, 1857, age 15 years. memory of our Reverend Ralph Stephen Thompson, he died in 1930, sorry he's born in 1930 and died in 2014, deeply loved by his wife, family and friends and those who served in the Christian ministry, we live for the glory of God. See the walls collapsed. It's a shame we can't go in the church. It's the same reason why so many of them's locked again.
got somebody deeper cross died 1928 age 74 also Alan Cross he died 1931 62 years old We've got uh, Jeffrey Brown, he died 1925, aged 8 months. And we've got Evelyn Brown, she died 1960, 62 years old. Bert Brown, died 1981, 84 years old. In memory of George Alice, he died 1900, age 72. His father and mother, Robert Alice, 74. Sarah Alice died age 99. And then we got um, John Alice, he died age 73. They all had good long lives from those days. I think this is a Tom Payne. He died 1901, 60 years old. Marianne Payne died in 1900, age 59. Then we got Joseph. Payne, died 1905, aged 94 years old. Got uh, Lottie Pollard, she died in 1937, aged 62. I wonder if that's any relation to the builders. Um, he was in Bridgewater for years. Pollards. Also Emma Pollard. He died 1886, aged 32 years old. So now look at the church. It's a real shame we can't go inside and have a look around. Ada Caroline, the beloved wife of Albert Richard Pocock. She died 1911, age 47. Sarah Denham, mother of the above. She died in 1906, age 76. Nice coat of cross. In love and memory of Bertha Clara. She died. Nineteen oh two at the age of 29.
Sarah Ann Nichols. She's born in 1854 and died 1900. Frederick Nichols, 1859 to 1944. James Date, he died in 1902, aged 60. Also James Day, husband of the above. Oh, sorry, the one above is a Jane, the beloved wife of James Day. She died in 1902, age 60. We've got James Day, husband of the above. He died 1919, aged 82. And then their son, Thomas Day, he died... 1919, age 40. And we've got Gemma A, the dear, dear, dearly beloved wife of James O, of Chilton Trinity. She died 1902, age 54. James O, he died... 1910, Thomas Blackmore, he died 1910, can't see how old he was, Mary Bussey, she died nineteen eleven, aged 81. See the one above, but we've got Frank Holly. He died it the twentieth, nineteen sixty. Patrice Taylor, she died, she uh, passed away in 1946, age 63. And we got William Taylor, he passed away in 1951, age 70. David Abner, is it? Love it as No, I can't read that one, it's too faint. Another one's very faint. We've got William Taylor. He died 1955, age 44, 45. And his wife Mary, she died in 1960. She died in 1991. Blanche Hawkins, Robert Walters, died in 1894. Lisa Walters, she died in 1925, aged 78. Our Blanche beloved daughter died 1967, aged 
Mary Dyer. She died 1857. I think she was born in 1857 and died 1910. Old boot cleaner. And we've got a Charles. Fillers, can we do last bit? He died in 1908. And then it says underneath that Burnham, Somerset. Look like, um, Gerald Hanson Olson died 1911, age 40. Kate Day died 1918, age 42. Jane Day died 1929, age 72, Walter Emery Day, died 1954, age 91. William Poole of Hoxton House, Wendon, he died 1901, age 70. And Sarah Caroline, his wife, she died 1900, age 67. Well, William Butcher, died 1921, age 64. Selena Butcher, she died 1950, age 93. It's amazing, some of these really old graves, the writing on them, the inscriptions are still really good. And then you got the other ones, which is um, really weather-worn. You got Robert Peckerall, Died 1900, age 36. Then we got his wife. She died in 1915. Then we have Elizabeth Jane Baker. She died 1928, age 64. Walter John Baker, died 1935, age 72. Winifred Margaret Baker, she died 1981, age 87. Martha Jones, she died 1894, age 70. Selena. Lazebury, she died 1895, age 63. Also her children, Alice Jones, Herbert Burgess, died 1890. Mabel Burgess, she died 1892, age six months. William Jones, 19, she died 1912, age 92. George William Jones, the hus beloved husband of Alice Kate Jones. He passed away in September 1923, age 78. No, this one's too faint to read as well.
John Ridgway. He died 1907, age 66. And his wife, she passed away 1910, age 68. And Florence, a daughter, she died in 1930, age 48. Amelia Long, she died 1887, age 76. Also her husband Robert, he died in Australia aged in 1862, aged 55 I think. Then we got in memory of Katria Ozier, the beloved wife of James J. C. Ozier, who died 1889, age 56. Also, James Ozier, born 1883, and he died 1914. Then we've got um, James Charles Hosier. Of Mangola Village, Villa, Bridgewater. For the first interment and in loving memory of my dear mother, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Hosier Smith, who died in 1885, aged 81 and three months. I can make this one out. Matilda Howe, she passed away 1951, age 76. Alfred George Street, he died. 1946, age 49. His wife, Hilda, she died in 1981-85. Laura Haig, whoops, Laura Haig, she died 1946, age 66 years old. Susan Baker, Died in 1946, aged 95. Got Lucy Roswell, she passed away in 1959, aged 66. Her husband Fred, he died in 1976. Sydney Ash. Born in 1886, died in 1946. Mabel Ash, 1886. 
Seems like some of these graves are quite new. See if I can find a few more older ones. We've got Emily Prosser. She died in 1947, age 72. Richard Isaac Herbert Prosser. Died 1959, aged 83. Walt Frederick Smallbone, died 1940, aged 44. Reunited with her daughter, Laura Mary Anderson, much loved mother and grandmother. Uh, she died. 2012, aged 18. The earth has music for those who will listen. It's nice. Big old tree. Charles Robert Bates. Hill Cove, Bridgewater. He died 1890, aged 39. So as you look in our stone. In love and memory of Henry Broomfield. Of Worcestershire, he died 1880, age 41. Sarah Hexon, the beloved wife of James Hexon, died 1876, age 25. These are all overgrown. This body has nearly disappeared. Susan Hawkins, died 1955, age 83. Herbert Hawkins, died 1956, aged 81. Bramwell Roberts, born 1905, died 1966, vicar of this parish, 1944 to 1957. Also Theodora Rhodes Roberts, born in 1868 to 1954. Albert Day, died 1960, 
six, 1966, age 77, and Violet, his wife, she died in 1975. Henry Harry Davis, born in 1896 and died in 1960, and his wife Winifred, she was born in 1893 and died in 19. Can't quite make that one out. Here we have a work race. One one seven four zero eight six Sergeant RJ Priest Observer Royal Air Force eighteenth of Feb nineteen forty three died aged twenty two. I wonder what you used to stand on the stone in the middle. We've got Angus Mary Allen. She died 1938 aged 38 years. Eusta Barnum, she died 1895. Francis Barnum, he died 1863, aged seven years. Then we've got Ellie, Elaine Barnum. Barnum. She died 1864, aged 13 years. And we've got Charles Barnum. He died 1870, aged 11 years. Also, Elaine Barnum. She died aged 83 years. All the newer graves over there and cremations around the side. So we've got Elizabeth, the beloved wife of Cornelius Parsons. He died 1873, aged 69. Also, Cornelius Parsons, who died May the 15th, 1884, aged 85. And one of the top is Elizabeth.
Frances Margaret Houston. She died 18, 1869, age 74. Reverend Charles Houston. He was a reverend for 25 years in this church. Died 1870, aged 69. Caroline Houston. She died 1871, aged 72. Then Emma Houston. She died 1883, aged 86. Can't quite read this one, make it out. It's very faint. Robert, Robert Jacobs, he died aged 1858, aged 50. Also his wife, she died eighteen fifty seven, aged 39. Robert, son of um, Howder, Howford Ashed, he was um, drowned in New Zealand January the 1st, 3 also for the children named James Jane and John who died in in her infancy. Another nice old cross. Jeffrey Baker, he died 1874, age 61. Also Elizabeth Hunt, daughter of the above. She died 1875, aged 27 years old. And was buried at Jarrow on time. Also, Aneth Baker, widow of the above. She died 1895, aged 74 years old. Elizabeth Powell died August 1930, aged 50 years. Thomas Powell died 1950, aged 72 years. And Oliver Ollie died 1989, aged 85 years.
just a couple more to see. So we've got George Bickham Marshall, died in 1862, aged 57. Also Charles Marshall, died in 1862, aged 52. John Marshall, died 1862, aged 71 years old. Right. I think that's all the uh, graves we can look at. Let's have a look around the outside of the church now. London's a nice little place. They've got the old school there where they do um, all different kinds of things in there. They've got a cricket ground, there's all the cricket ground over there. Not because we're cricket ground, sorry, it's Wendon cricket ground. It says um, Commonwealth War Graves. I found one. After I finish looking around the church, I'll see if I can find some more. Because I know uh, there's a lot of people that take great interest in that.
It's a real shame we can't go inside. I was hoping while I was walking around there, somebody would have come along and opened up. It's another grave we didn't see. Can't quite make out what it says. The door has been sealed up. Uh, so we're back at the front again. Let's see if we can find some more war graves. Well, I've just come across a, another war grave. EX 5700 Marine AE Woodley, Royal Marines, 18th of April 1940, age 22. Another one just over here.
Military Police, 57299 Private, FEB Perry, Corpse of Military Police, 21st of September 1946, page 31. Right, here's another grave. It's Thomas Wilkins. He died 1916, age 61. And Bertrand Mudge, elder son of the above, died of wounds April the 18th, 1918, buried at Wilmer, Wilmerex, France, age 33. Well, that's it today. Um, I hope you enjoyed um, walking around London Church with me. It's a shame we couldn't go inside, but there's a lot to see outside as well. On a nice day, we found a few more graves and some really interesting graves. So that's it from Wendham Church, which is not far from Bridgewater. So if you're around this area, pop in and take a look around. Even if you can't get in the church, it's still a nice place to visit. Okay. I've enjoyed showing you around this place and if you enjoyed watching it, please um, press the like button and maybe even subscribe to my channel, which is free. Thanks for watching. Bye then.